What's up everyone? And today we're diving deep into the biggest update yet for lossless scaling LSFG 3.1. We're talking a complete game changer with the new and improved adaptive mode, finally letting you push those higher refresh rates on graphic cards with minimal ghosting and flickering. And most importantly, incredible frame pacing and fluidity. I'm gonna walk you through the absolute best settings to make this magic happen. So let's jump right into the video. First things first, make sure you've got the latest version of Lossless Scaling 3.2 downloaded and of course, run it as administrator. That's crucial. All right, so this is the Lossless Scaling Tool interface. Now, if you followed my previous tutorials, you know I've experimented with a many of settings to find that sweet spot for minimal ghosting and flickering. But let me tell you, this new version, 3.1, is a different beast entirely. Today, I'm gonna show you the exact settings you need to tweak to unlock that incredibly smooth gaming experience. Oh, and here's a massive bonus. No more need for awkward frame rate caps like we used to. Now pay close attention and follow my steps without skipping. Navigate to the frame generation section and set this to LSFG 3.1. This is the new update on lossless scale latest version. In previous versions, we are used LSFG 3.0. Now we can available to use LSFG 3.1. This is the core of our performance boost mode. Change this to adaptive. Guys, this new adaptive mode feels almost same as fixed mode. Previous versions had a more noticeable flickering and weird frame rate drops with adaptive. But that's practically a things of the past. Target value. I'm setting my target to 144 for the best result. I'm using an older NVIDIA GTX 1088GB. If you have higher performance graphics card like a GTX 1080Ti or something even higher, feel free to crank it up to 165 or 240 or whatever your monitor supports. And yes, it's higher refresh rate experience. Flow scale. Now this is where things get interesting in this new update. Why you can keep it at 100 tweaking the flow scale can actually reduce the FPS cost of LSFG. You know, LSFG typically costs you a few, usually around 8 to 10. Well, by bringing this value down to something like 60 or even 55, you can often reduce that cost to just 3 or 5 FPS. For low-end and mid-range users, this is a huge help. LSFG performance. This is a massive new addition and absolutely vital for squeezing out those extra frames. It claims a slight loss in visual quality. But honestly, I've seen zero noticeable difference in my testing. So make sure performance mode turned on. Capture API. Set this to WGC. Q target. Keep this at one. This provides a fantastic balance, giving you great performance without overloading your GPU. Scaling mode. No need to touch this. We're only focusing on the frame generation mode. Set scaling mode to auto and set aspect ratio. Sync mode. This is critical now. Set it off. Allow tearing. I know in previous tutorials, I might have suggested default for minimal screen tearing, but things have changed. If you use default now, your frame rate can get locked almost like V-Sync is on, introducing more flickering and frustrating latency issues. So, absolutely, turn off sync mode. Max frame latency. Set this to 1 for NVIDIA users and 3 for AMD users. Draw FPS. Make sure this is turned on. It's super helpful for monitor your performance in-game. That's it for the settings, fam. These are the absolute optimized configurations for the latest lossless scaling adaptive mode. Now, let's see how this performs in the actual gameplay. For this test, I'm using Cyberpunk 2077. You all know how demanding this game is, especially on older graphics cards. I've got my in-game settings mostly on high, except for crowd density, and I'm running in borderless full-screen mode for lossless scaling to work properly. All right. Let's jump into the game and hit that shortcut key to activate frame generation. Mine's control plus alt plus S, but you can always find yours in lossless scaling settings. Alternatively, 
you can just click scale in the lossless scaling window and reselect your game. Now, take a look at these numbers. You can clearly see my native frame rate and then the incredible boost from LSFG. There are still some minimal flickering and ghosting issues, but honestly, this latest version has addressed them significantly. They're not completely gone, but the overall gameplay smoothness is absolutely phenomenal compared to before, not more jarring frame drops like we used to experience. And the latency? It's genuinely impressive. If you're with higher refresh rate monitor, you're going to have an even more incredible experience with this. The only minor cabist is that lingering flickering, but it's far less noticeable than in previous iterations. I'm really hoping future updates can completely fix those out. But seriously guys, this is genuinely amazing. I've tested a bunch of other games, and I'm getting a buttery smooth gameplay experience across the board with this lossless scaling new update. You absolutely have to check this out. I guarantee you'll be incredibly satisfied with this new update. So, that's it for today's video. If you run into any snags with this tutorial or the tool, make sure to drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to assist you. If you enjoyed this kind of content, smash that like button. Share it with your gaming buddies. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss another helpful tutorial like this. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, happy gaming.